Hello, everybody. James Phelps here. I want to say a big hello wherever you are in the world. And thank you very much for joining us here. Uh, so very excited because, as some of you probably are aware, Fossil uh, and Harry Potter have come together to do an amazing collection uh, with watches and jewellery. And Oliver and myself have been very fortunate to be invited to help share this with everybody. So Oliver's just uh, coming online in a second. So uh, without further ado, I will carry on. So hello, everybody. Nice to help. Oh, Oliver is issue. I hope so. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Very good. Right. It's, it's through the airway. So I can't see you right now. Thanks to the joys of technology. Uh, but hopefully it'll, it'll log on and catch up. I'm hoping anyway. To know. Well, we've got people from all over the world, which I can, I'm really right now, so that's great. Uh, so I'll just explain to the guys how Fossil and Harry Potter have come together to create a, a really cool collection with watches and jewellery. Um, so I'm just going to go through uh, a few of them, and if anyone's got any questions about them or anything, please write them up on the forum, and we can talk about them from that. Amazing, amazing. I'm going to just try and log on on another device, but I don't think it's going to let me. No. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. I can hear you, which is which is really good. And if you just tell me what everyone, all the nice people are saying as well, that would be brilliant. It's like I'm doing it on radio. There you are, back in the day. So I'm um, I'm going to go in with something which I've uh, I put on my Instagram yesterday, and I know a lot of people are very excited with it as well. So I'm wearing it right now, and it actually works really well as a as a watch to go to the. Uh, to go running in and things like that because it's got a cool strap. Anyway, because I'm a Hufflepuff, I've got my Hufflepuff watch on, which is so cool. Because it's just little things. And then, uh, obviously, you've got the Slytherin one, and everything comes in these cool boxes as well. So if you want to give them as a gift or any other kind of keepsake. But obviously, you've got Slytherins, which, let's say, there are some good Slytherins well, Ravenclaws, and then Gryffindors. Yeah, let's yeah. It. Hufflepuffs are the best, right? <laughs> right here, right. Yes, right everybody here, agrees right here, with me. Thank you. Well, yeah. no, and also, and also, speaking about Gryffindor, I'm, uh, I'm sporting a love house pride today. I went for the uh, the necklace as well. Subtle, but in your face. I think. What, well, one thing which I was thinking about this earlier, and it's always cool because things like this uh, with the collection. It's this, the little things where if you know, you know. Like you can tell everyone that you are a big Harry Potter fan, but it's always like the subtle little things as well. Um, so when we go through the few of the other bits of jewellery as well, you'll see what I mean, especially with that. But what's really uh, what I really enjoyed about wearing this today, this particular one, is that A, I like badges. B, I'm a Hufflepuff in general. And I discovered yellow and black go with anything. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right, try it. Oh, so try it. it. Yeah, no, no, that's good. Well, as, I say, as you say, I think the cool thing about it, and I mentioned it actually when I was uh, when I was looking at this stuff, um, what came through the other days. As you say, the level of detail, what goes into it, and especially with the the strapping on here as well, it makes it, as you say, really comfortable to wear every day, um, which I think people are just going to really, really enjoy. Now, I know, well, I know people are really going to enjoy it because we've had that many people, uh, not just send direct messages but also comment on the on the post that we've put up as well um about how excited they are about all this very much so um it's quite funny. it's quite fun i'm just reading some of the uh messages that everybody's saying as like jay just said i love being a slithering since my favorite color is green see it works with everything oh right oh that's good then that's good. And, they say, and uh, as you say, I think it is a case of, well, there's everybody's welcome here as well. Doesn't matter what house you're in, everybody's welcome at this table we're at right now. Uh, just to wind you up, Oliver, this will wind him up, Amanda. Amanda, uh, uh, Oliver says, have you tried turning your camera on? Yes, Amanda, I have. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you think, is Amanda the type of people who, when you, say, when you call help support, you know, for your internet and say, my internet's not working, and it's like, have you turned it off and turned it on again? I've tried. I've tried this, Amanda. Thank you. I, need, I wish I had my magic wand around. You know that would get the thing working, but not working at the moment. I'm afraid. But I can hear James's tone coming through effortlessly. <laughs> I think it looks good. Anyway, going with watches. So you've also got the house watches, which is very more personalised. But then there is a limited edition as well. And this is very fancy, and I'm, so I've actually show you it in the box. So it comes with limited edition on it. Yeah. And then 
Inside, you've got the box with the Hogwarts on it. And then, it just looks so cool. Inside is a nice... So as you can see on that guy, it's got all four houses represented. So you're not going to get in trouble with anybody <laughs> when they say, what house are you in? I'm this, I'm that. Sorry, I'm waiting for you to come in here. Oh, oh sorry. Hey, 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 hello, hello. welcome. Hello. So no, I'm trying to log in. Right, I'm on the Fossil website right now. I thought, right, how can I get on it that way? I'm going to have a look through the mirror, as it would be, through the window, seeing what's being said, and we'll go on it through there. So, like we were saying earlier, is that you've, on this limited edition, the nice gold-looking watch, is that uh, obviously you're all four houses are shown and a date and all that kind of stuff but also did you know you don't need batteries for this no no you no, don't actually do because it goes it's automatic isn't it yep it goes by your movement so if i can undo it and show you the back as well which is really really cool you can see how the watch works behind but also it's got the hogwarts logo on as well see it's the subtle things even things that you don't even know that are there but you will know and I, I can remember when I was, whenever I'm traveling, I normally take my, my watch off. And so it's always those little things that you get to look at. And then when you move it, obviously you can feel it move uh, to work with it. So, yeah, very cool. Yeah, very, very cool indeed. Very cool indeed. Right. I think I'm actually getting there very slowly with all this. Right. So I'm looking at you, looking at me, looking at you. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so anyway, Jess, crack on, crack on. So what do you think? Okay, well, I'm I mean, just going to answer a couple of these questions which are coming through, actually. So uh, yeah, Jane asks, okay. is it unisex? Yes, it is. Very much so. So you can, anyone can, can own them and wear them and basically look good in them. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I did enjoy, actually, about the, um, especially about the limited edition one, was the level of detail, what obviously not just goes into the watch itself, but also just the packaging, like the display box, what comes with it. And even, which is on quite a few of the, the other items as well, but still really, really cool. Is the book what comes with it or the envelope what comes with it with the limited edition details, but how it's got the Hogwarts stamp, uh, like the wax stamp on it. I thought that was such a great idea. Very much so. And... Uh, what a few guys are saying on here as well. Is it lightweight? Yes, it is. It doesn't weigh you down like some big heavy watches, so you, you don't know that it's there. On all all five of the watches uh, are like that. And also, yes, this one can. These have all got holes in because it's a normal strap, but the limited edition one, the Hogwarts edition, uh, you can have it resized. And the way it does, if you don't know already, basically uh, go to any locksmith or or anybody like that and they can take out a few of these and they'll basically make it so it fits on your wrist perfectly yes especially if you suffer with skinny wrist syndrome like i do it looks yeah, really well then yeah. no, it looks, <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant really really great i think it's just uh, it's little things actually every time i look at this watch i notice different things so actually it was only in this light that i've noticed the like the embroidery in the background as well the designs mm -hmm. i've just noticed that Brilliant. Which is, yeah, but it's, it's again, it's what, so guys, if you're uh, new to Harry Potter stuff in general, and for, so we've been very lucky to be a part of uh, the movie since, well, a long time, let's leave it as that so we don't feel too old, but um, everything that they do is very much attention to detail, and that goes down to absolutely everything, so I mean, Fossil, as everybody will probably know already, the attention detail they put in all their products are always there. So this is very much being amplified as well with all the Harry Potter stuff. So even down to if you're giving these as a gift or you're receiving these as a gift, they come looking spectacular as well. So when you're wearing the product, it's amazing. But also just the, the uh, presentation of what it comes in looks amazing as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 as you say, it's, it's one of those things. I think that sometimes when you look at, um, when you hear that uh, brands have teamed up with um, with different ideas about what it's going to be like in, in terms of, you know, obviously covering the all bases, especially the fandom. And it's making stuff that's going to obviously look great, but also stand out to those who know what they're looking for. And especially with all things like this. And uh, another thing I would say that 
that's the one thing we've noticed with a lot of Harry Potter things over the years is that things are done well and this is definitely right up there with things that have been done very, very well. Definitely. And just so everybody knows as well, so if you're watching us here right now, so the collection is out tomorrow, but if you want to get it today, not many people can do that, but if you want to get it today, at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to click on the first access and go right there. So there you are. Oh, you scared me there, James. I thought I was going to have to give up my stash. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, like we said, there's watches, but there's also jewellery as well. So, Oliver, which is your one of your favourite parts of jewellery for the collection? Well, there was a couple. As I say, I'm sporting the uh, the Gryffindor pendant right now. But also, uh, we do have um, like different ideas what come through. So, different to the other pendants. Obviously, you've got the Mirror of Erised right there, which is a really nice one. But then... I suppose you can you can have different ones for different uh, different times. Yeah, there was one which I was sporting in my Instagram post, which is a bit more chunky, uh, but it was the Hogwarts pendant there, which is almost like a sovereign, really. Um, so these are all just ones which I think can go quite delicately with stuff. Actually, funny enough, I saw uh, a friend of mine today while I was playing golf, and his wife is a massive, massive Harry Potter fan. Um, and we were talking about maybe Christmas ideas and the time turner. Is actually one I think is absolutely incredible, um, just because of like the way it moves, the movements whilst we're all on it. Um, it just seems to just stand out. Again, like we said, that if you know, you know. Uh, but even if you didn't know that it was a Harry Potter related thing, it's still something that looks really cool. Yeah, I'll get one. There you go. The yeah, exactly, turner. exactly that. Can you see? So it's not just like a flat, static, uh, one piece um, notion. But the other thing as well is that I don't know if you can get it any closer to the camera james it's actually the grains of sand what's inside it but it's mm -hmm. not sand but you know what i mean like it looks looks awesome I'm fighting with the uh okay all right what about, what and, about yourself james what stands out for well you? I, I mean this is a, it's so good because also obviously it's you can probably tell you the light the uh necklace itself is sparkly but like oliver said it turns in all which way so it's literally just like in the movie in the books so it's very cool that um again little things if you know you know which i think makes these really 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 cool so yeah there were can i just one, can, oh, I, can i just say one on. other one as well which i thought was awesome and again when you sit depending on what type of light you're looking at it in it kind of just adds a different element to it and it's the i'm going to keep it here so you can see it against the the darkness of the uh, the box but it's the, the Hogwarts castle um, with the night background on it. And again, this could go with anything. You could be wearing that daily or you could wear it if you're going out somewhere fancy. And it just seems to, as I say, just adds to that, that subtleness to it as well. I think it's such a, a lovely picture as well of the Hogwarts. I should turn it around to show you. Uh, but where it's got like the stars sparkling on it and stuff, depending on how the light is hitting it again, it all just adds up to what and how well thought out this collection has been made it's been really thought out with the fans point of view in there as well um and i think just when you look at it um first time around you see one thing and then like i say the more you look at it the more you see different elements to it as well well it's funny when you say that oliver and i'm sure the guys won't mind when we're actually speaking to some of the guys at fossil early in the week they are big harry potter fans as well so it's not it's not like uh people who've never seen the movies have helped uh you know, present these to everybody. They know exactly uh, what it's like to be a fan as well. So they were very excited with it as well. So going back, I, I guess my favorite thing, uh, or one, I could say one of the favorite things of this collection is like I was saying, the subtleness of if you know, you know. So I've got a, where did I put it? Ah, I put it. If I disappear, I'm just looking for other stuff. It's falling. So when we're, when we're going back for it, there we go. obviously, if you want to show your house pride, you can have the where the watch is. But even more subtle, the necklaces. So you've got the that's a Hufflepuff there, and obviously they come into um, all the other houses. So they're in Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and like Oliver said as well, the Hogwarts as well. So you know, if you don't want to upset anyone with your, what house you are. <laughs> Slytherins of the world only joking <laughs> it shows that um, just little things like that and 
it's it's something which we've definitely learned through our many years and many travels around the world is that Harry Potter fans come in all shapes and sizes. You cannot def- say that is a Harry Potter fan. Which yeah, is, uh, and well, I think that's it. There's that, and and also there's there's other things that are a bit more obvious as well. If you know, now I think everyone is related to they know about platform nine and three quarters and or a snitch um and the thing i really love about that one about this one pendant here is that how both are incorporated onto it and again that is something that's a bit more obvious to people uh, okay that's definitely a harry potter type thing isn't it but otherwise as well james i'm happy that it's not a hufflepuff piece which you just seem to be talking about a lot you wouldn't believe that you're a hufflepuff i've actually got a badger under my shed right okay. he's there of his own he's there of his own free will well, i didn't put him there he's he's just there he's chilling yeah, yeah. But actually, actually while, we, while we're talking about under there, um, under the, uh, the lid of the boxes, like I was saying, goes back to the, the um, certificate of authenticity, which is in every piece, again, is on a um, stamped Hogwarts letter as well. Again, it goes back to the level of detail. It's not just chuck it in a brown box and send it out. Um, the guys have thought so much detail in the presentation of these pieces, which is awesome, awesome to see. So, I've, well, sorry, just feel for me for two seconds, Oliver. I've, I can't oh, right, okay, yeah, well, that's it. And, I <laughs> my mean, favourite bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, I've seen quite quite a few messages while coming now on the feed is, you know, is it unisex? Um, well, I've got to be honest, yes, it is. Because there's stuff like, as I say, there's stuff like this, which I find it doesn't matter, you know, if you're if you're male or female, it doesn't really matter, if, like, as long as you're whatever house you're in, that definitely works in with it. But then other things as well can work quite subtly, like, the nine and three quarters thing we just had there. The time turner, again, it's whatever you're comfortable wearing, which is the one thing about, like all things Hogwarts, it's, inc- it's inclusive for absolutely everybody. Very much so. So, Caitlin, I know you've been asking this, so I'm going to show you. The charm bracelet, uh, which is, uh, I, I think what's, what I really like about this as well is that, like I said, again, it's subtle. So it's got a very, very s- subtle H on it. I can get it around there. In a Hogwarts font, which, if again, if you know, you know. So I'm waiting for you to uh, carry on as well. Sorry, there is a slight delay on the video, so I'm trying to see what you're uh, what you're what you're trying to get to. Uh, but the, I mean, as I say, it's more about the the glimmer of of magic is a buzzword that I heard about. Uh, when when looking at the especially the pendants with that if you know you know type thing but also the great thing about it is if you do know no doubt it's going to be a conversation starter oh, okay like say say for argument say you've got a um the mirror vera set on there for example some people may look at it and go ah that's definitely post related other people may not know at all but again it's a conversation starter as well or or even you're wearing your nine and three quarters pendant and someone says what house are you Conversation starters. I know. And do you want to know something even more subtle? Go on. That you can have. It's actually displayed in the screen right there, right now. So I don't have my ears pierced, but if I did, you get earrings. <laughs> so, so, so I did that. Um, so what's, what's cool about the <laughs> earrings as well is that so you've got Harry's glasses, the lightning bolt, the deathly hallows, the snitch. And the key. So, like I said, it's one of those where if you were, if you knew someone liked Harry Potter, and you just wanted to say your boss likes Harry Potter, you just want to just go. Um... I like what Taylor. I, I read a message from Taylor there, and you're right. Maybe I should be. I should be showing the earrings off. Um, <laughs> but then again, you know, losing the ear was quite a, quite a serious thing. Why probably I, I don't talk about too much of the earrings. But again, as you say. If you can just subtly drop it in your boss season and stuff, uh, they're going to be they're going to go down really well. And again, I, I love to think about it's almost like it's, it's really simplistic in terms of it's not overdone, um, which sometimes I suppose people could fall in the trap of when they're trying to think of something that's Potter related. But again, it just sticks to that that solid narrative of what Potter is all about, and especially what fans what we've what we've learned to speak to people and when they've been talking to us about it that they get it, that they can tell when something's been done right, and especially us being part of the of the whole fandom and the other side of it. But we, we see both. That's why we're so happy to be able to share these amazing things uh, with all you people out there today. Very much so. Um, 
So while we're actually uh, talking about this, guys, if you have any questions for us about when we're filming or anything like that, or what any of these uh, products remind us of or times when we're filming, please ask away. Um, we're here for as long as anyone wants to chat, uh, which is always good to do. Um, so, yeah, and Oliver, I've got to say, been your favourite watch to wear? My favourite watch to wear? Well, <laughs> funny enough, I'm wearing it right now. Uh, it's my Gryffindor watch. I've been wearing it all day and it, I, I barely noticed it was on, to be honest with you. It was that comfortable wearing. Um, and also as well, it just seems to just, it just suits, it goes with a lot of things, red and yellow. Um, again, it's quite stands out if you're wearing it with anything dark. Uh, but yeah, that was definitely one of my favourite pieces, especially when I noticed that some people were asking about it, if it works or if it doesn't. Uh, but no, it definitely works really well with, with whatever we're wearing. And again, with that strapping, it just makes it so much easier uh, to tell people where it is and but like we did say about the limited edition watch as well which I've got to be honest is a pretty blingy amazing piece um, but if you do just get it um, sorted out in terms of the sizes then that'll work really well with a lot of stuff especially I suppose if you're trying to show off be a bit more outlandish and the conversation starts again a <laughs> statement piece that would be it very much so very 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 yes uh, so a few people are now asking what do I have against Slytherin? I don't have anything against Slytherin. I do like to wind up um, Tom Felton whenever I see him because he always has to get get it in there that he's a Slytherin. Um, obviously, Oliver's just happens to be Gryffindor. I am helpful. So we have a quite an interesting chat whenever the three of us are in the same room. So that's that's probably why. Uh, what is my our favourite Harry Potter films to film? To actually film, I always say The Goblet of Fire uh, because we have a lot of fun. Obviously, we had great hair in that movie. <laughs> is that what I, you're doing now? Kind of, yeah. That's, that's what I'm going for. Very good, very good. I mean, I just saw, I just saw another message as well there from Nicola as well, saying, did we used to have any routines when we were filming? Um, to be honest, our routine when we were filming was kind of turn up as and when, and uh, like whenever the call time was. Towards the end of it, I had to go in a bit later, or a bit earlier, should I say, because I had to get the prosthetic pieces on George's ear. Um, but at the same time, we'd be able to sit there and, and look at, be it props or or anything else what they've got coming in and again that goes down to the level of, of, uh, of detail like especially what the guys came up with which is why when i saw this this line came out with the level of detail what's gone into that is the same attention which i think people are going to be so appreciative of and that's stuff what so i'm sure you'll agree james it's the first thing that we kind of look out for when we're we're doing stuff like this and this is exactly how it works Yep, yep, definitely. Um, Patient, have I read Tom's book? I'm actually start, just starting to reading it right now. Uh, so that's, that's really good. Uh, did we take any props from the movies? No, because they were so quick on it when we were filming. So anytime we had a wands or anything like that, the prop guys would be waiting for us, leaving set. So I think pretty much every Potter actor would always say they wish they got to keep the wands. Unfortunately, they're, in, they're now in the studio tour in a travelling exhibition, so everybody else can see yeah, I was, I was really, I was really gutted we didn't get to uh, to keep that type of stuff. But at least though, with this stuff as well, it's something to, for everyone who they could look into, it, and especially with a, such an established brand um, as Fossil, it's definitely been 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 done very, very well. Yeah. Uh, the funny, the funniest memory. So this changes all the time because obviously you can think we had quite a lot of fun memories when we were filming. Uh, a really well, one that I always think back to is you know, and I've, I've said this before, so I apologize if you heard it, but you know, when people get the giggles and you can't stop no matter how hard you want to stop the giggles. Well, when we're filming the fifth movie, The Order of the Phoenix, there's the scene when the room of requirement is discovered, right? And the camera shot is literally panning across everybody, everybody looks surprised. Unfortunately, Oliver, Rupert Grint, and myself had the giggles that day, and so every time it came it would stop on us and one of us would start giggling. We, how many takes did we have to do of that, Oliver? Like... Probably, uh, I'd, I'd say more than two. It was kind of, uh, the worst thing about that whole room though is that it was so hot. It was probably the hottest set when we were there. And to be able to just, yeah, make people stay there even longer was probably not the best thing that we, we did in the end. <laughs> just giggling, thinking about it. <laughs> just, I was going to say you start him off again now. Start him off. 
but I've got I've got a question actually for people who are who are watching this right now. Of the collection, what they've seen so far, what are they most excited about? That'd be a great one to uh, to see what people are excited about. Oh, we're actually we are reading. We're not just going uh, mute. We're actually, <laughs> we're actually looking at these. I so I really enjoy the looking at the watches. I mean, that's my that's the thing. So I like watches in general. But I think that what we've, like everyone said, like TJ just said, the next is, especially the Mirror of Eris Edge one. The Time Turner keeps getting a lot of love as well. The Castle Necklace, the Charm Bracer, everything. Like it's all, I think what's really obvious right now is that it shows how Fossil have done such a great thing in the, the job in for this collection. So obviously everybody reading this and writing on here seems to already love the collection. And, and we're not just saying this, I have to be honest. When we opened the uh, all the collection which the guy sent us to it we were literally blown away with the detail that was in it and the quality of it as well because obviously Fossil is a high quality brand anyway but it shows it, it shows even more so with, with the stuff that they've done here so I, I know that you guys will absolutely love it and obviously we've seen all things like uh, connect with Potter before and it never surprises us how much detail go into making it like we've already said so this is similar to this now yeah, again, have you noticed that on the back of the watches as well? I've literally just noticed that. Mm. You notice that? That's awesome. Um, again, new things you find all the time, and especially when we get to see it, it's it's really great. And I can't wait to other, see other people as well when we're out and about and seeing them uh, noticing it and, and talking to us about it. And again, it just it just keeps that keep that resonance uh, going, which which we love seeing with people when they're talking about it. Very much. I like that. Uh, I, did, I, I did just see a thing where it said, are you angry today, Oliver? How can I be angry when I'm surrounded by so much good stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm interested, actually. But So, a good a, a question for everybody else. So, obviously, some of you guys may have seen on our on our Instagram, we had a couple of photos, and we had to do that. We, we didn't have to, but we're trying to think of a, a way of how to show them, and it was trying not to give the, you know, those photos. Mm. 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 So, I'm wondering... How would you guys uh, on here now, what would be the way that you would do a photo with anything of any of the items in the collection, whether it be the jewelry, whether it be the watches, anything? Obviously, we're coming up to Halloween. Maybe it's in a pumpkin patch, right? Hey? Oh, you mean well, like picking up a pumpkin? Like, yeah, you could oh, be picking like up really a pumpkin. Just hold it like there. <laughs> Joe said, would have done a cartwheel. That would be good. Very good. Maybe a bit tricky to get the the, uh, the watch in, in there. But you never know. Good effort. Good effort. I'd like to see the camera skills to do that. Yeah. Wearing a Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff robe. Very much so. Holding an ice cream. Yes, I like this one. Yeah. yeah, And also holding the wand as well. I love that idea. That'd be perfect with one, wouldn't it? <laughs> the duck face selfie. Let's be honest. The duck face selfie should never be a thing. Yeah, but it is. So you might as well do it while looking good. <laughs> Why don't you do one now, James? How would you, but how would you do it? Would you be like... Like that. <laughs> holding once. Yes, I love all these ideas, guys. See, we're already That's getting it, it right. So holding I can, I can already see I can already see some people, right? You know, on, on Christmas Day or, or whenever it's given or if it's given as a birthday present or anything like that, the photos are going to be coming out with all these. And we're going to know that we all had a small part in getting this all together. So many great people. And please tag us in them because I really want to see what everybody comes up with. Yeah, S, I saw, said, on a roof. Please be careful when you're on the roof with it, S. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it's awesome. I love seeing all these, these random ideas as well that people have come up with for it, which just, just goes to show as well um, that it doesn't matter where you are in the world. We've had people from America. We've had people from Argentina. We've had people from parts of Europe, Asia, all tuning in today to, uh, to see all this. And it's so nice to see um how excited you guys are with it especially um especially with us launching all this as well it's so so exciting so we hope you have an absolutely incredible incredible time uh when it all comes along and if you're there like uh, francesca there with the marching band make sure you get it in there as well oh dear. sorry my dog's having a a crazy thing right now. See, that would be a good, again, my like people have said it as well, petting your dog. 
yeah, there you go. You can get all that. You can get all that in there as well, can't you? As well. So look, guys, um, hello, and all one and all to everyone who's there, um, especially someone who said hello to my chaotic self. <laughs> Just going to hold this pose now. Very good one. Very good. Well, um, oh, so I just read as well, uh, Jane's having a bachelorette party in London next year. Congratulations. Have fun. Have fun. Make sure you get all the photos as well, you know, where you've got like the sash or whatever. If you could hold the sash like that. Or with some, at King's Cross. At King's Cross, yeah, with some gentle earrings or, or some charms or something like that around, or even a perfect necklace for it. Yeah. So, last one, Oliver. I'm going to put you on the spot now. Okay. Your your two favourite items. Two favourite items. Okay. Well, as I say, either sort of the watches I'm going for. Obviously, there's the limited edition because I do like a good limited edition piece, especially when it looks so funky and amazing like that. And the fact that it's automatic as well means you don't have to worry about the battery going or anything like that. Or Sticking with the watches for Gryffindor because I just, as I said, I've been wearing it all day and I absolutely love it. And then probably one of the necklaces. Again, you've got the Gryffindor side of things, which is really, really interesting. Um, for that, but I do love the time turner. I really, really do. <laughs> so I was looking at some of these messages as well while you're saying this one. Another one you could do is having a pineapple pizza while sharing the watch. No, no. Which no. may offend all of Italy. So let's not yeah, do that one. Yeah, we're all for inclusion here. We're all for inclusion here. I just saw one where someone's asked <laughs> to see the time turner one more time. So I'm going to show it here with like the uh, the background. But I don't know if you can see also the uh, the grains of sand rolling in as well on there, which I must stress aren't grains of sand. What about you? I'm going to throw it to you for the last one, James. Which one do you, you say is your, your favourite piece? I know you asked me what? for one and I gave you about five, but what would it be? Um, well, I'm going to go with, like you said, I think the, the watches are a slight thing, isn't it? So that definitely, the Hufflepuff watch. And if I can find it, like I say, I'm, I haven't got my ears pierced, but if I did, the earrings, because I just like I like the subtle little things like that. I went, so the other day I gave blood and the lady that was uh, signing me in, she had a deathly hat on, like, you know, the name badges. She had mm. a Deathly Hallows drawn onto her name badge. And she, it took her like, a couple, she was like looking down, can I have your name? Yeah, I gave her my name. And then she looked at her and she just, just like got it. But I was prepared for it because I saw the Deathly Hallows. So mm. what's cool is that the little things are, so if I had an earring with the Deathly Hallows and things like that, it would just be there. So Veronica, there you are again. See? amazing amazing stuff well guys once again thank you so much for joining us tonight and yeah just uh just happy uh browsing and, and shopping with all these this amazing collection from fossil the guys have done an absolutely incredible incredible job we wouldn't be here um talking about it so so happy about to talk about it as well if it wasn't um because these guys have done a truly fantastic job and uh yeah look out for uh, look out for the little nuggets of information as well would have found you didn't, did you show? Did you show anyone these, James? What the um, what this looks like? No, carry on. So, uh, with with the pieces as well, obviously, like I showed you earlier, the envelope. Well, inside the envelope, as well as operating instructions, is the um, limited edition. It says here, and it says what you've received. It receives, and there's also a really cool, funky hologram right there as part of it. Again, things that they didn't have to do but they've done it and they've done it really, really well. Very much so. So guys, like I said, thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning, this evening, tonight, wherever you are in the world, we know that there are all, all different continents uh, represented here already. So that's really amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. We really, really hope that you enjoy the collection and honestly, it is awesome. So I know you guys are going to have a great time. Are you either having it for yourself or giving it to a friend or a family member for a uh, birthday or Christmas or any other occasion. Have such a great time. And like we said, please, when you get these, please send us um, your photos of you wearing them. Um, the more elaborate, the better. I think that would be great to see as well. And obviously send the guys at Fossil as well, because I'm sure they'd love to see it as well. Um, so guys, with everything else, if everyone else is uh, happy with what we've shown you and it looks like you guys are, thank you again. And we'll see you next time. Take care.
Bye.